Before you install your Lab Conco Protector Echo or Aero filtered fume hood, prepare the site for installation. Your user's manual lists the requirements for the installation site. You'll need the following tools to unpack your hood. Scissors, number two Phillips screwdriver, or number two Phillips drill bit, a 7 16ths inch socket and drill, or 7 16ths inch wrench, pliers for removing staples and opening the box. To install your new protector echo or protector arrow, follow these steps. Inspect and unpack the filtered fume hood. Remove the shrink wrap and box and inspect for any damage that may have occurred in transit. Remove the header panel on the front of the hood. Remove the fan box or boxes from the top of the hood. Remove the side panels and sash restraints. Remove all four restraint screws from sash weights located in the rear of the hood. Locate the installation components inside the hood on the pallet. Free the hood from the pallet. Now set the unit in place. Ensure that the back of the hood is flush with the back of the work surface. This aligns the hood properly to project past the front of the work surface 1.7 inches. Make sure the power cord can reach an appropriate outlet, but you don't need to plug it in yet. Plug vent holes or install your vent kit, which comes with its own instructions. Unbox ventilation components. Neutrodyne filters by Erlab. Arrange the filters and ventilation components. The primary Neutrodyne filter. Fan box. And secondary Neutrodyne filter. Label filters as primary or secondary filters with stickers. The first filters to be installed are the primary filters, and they will be labeled with a P. The second row of filters are the secondary filters, and they will be labeled with an S. The filters then need to be labeled, starting with one on the side closest to the command module. Now connect your filtered fume hood to power and turn it on. The turn on sequence may take up to 90 seconds. The panel will have a delayed light up and then chime to signal when the startup sequence is complete. Locate the airflow sensor calibration instructions in the manual. To calibrate your filtered fume hood, adjust the sash to the desired working height and then adjust it upwards another two inches. Press the calibration button, followed by holding down the fan button to begin calibration. Please note that the side panels must be installed for proper calibration. Calibration will take up to five minutes and the command module will light up and chime several times. Your filtered fume hood is ready to work.